Guys, take a look at this plant from Jamaica. They call it a foxtail, and in America, what do they call it? A pushtail. Absolutely. Absolutely stunning. That's pretty amazing, man. I love that. You guys got any comments about this plant? Some of you, some of you horticulturists out there. I mean, look at this. This is, it's so hairy, like, and it's so beautiful. What is? It? It's all they can. They also call it a Chanel plant. I, I'm not familiarized with it, but I, I'll tell you, I, I'm very impressed with it. If you guys got any questions on it, please drop you know your comments below. Absolutely beautiful. So, you're cleaning the snake head there, right, Chef? Yeah, definitely, you know. I was gonna clean it, and guess what? We're gonna, before we even cook it, we're gonna soak it in a little bit of um, vinegar. Uh -huh. Or a little bit of um, lemon juice or something. Right. Because you wanna get that, um, the water flavor out of it, you know? Right, right, you right. You wanna get that nice flavor into it. You wanna get that raw flavor and all that. Right. Yeah, man. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, this, this, uh, this type of cooking is, is mainly done on the islands, am I correct? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. On the island. Yardman thing, <laughs> as they will never know. Yardman thing. <laughs> yeah, man. I can't wait to try it, Chef. Yeah, this is going to be amazing. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, you did the Yardman side? You see, folks, this, you know, um, French, French people make this this similar. They make it in uh, in a parchment paper, mm -hmm. and they add a little bit of butter, and then they add a little bit of liquid, and then they add their fish and their vegetables, and like this, and then they let it almost steam inside. Of it. See, but I guess this is a Jamaican style, yeah. and and it's yard it's, man ting it, man, <laughs> <laughs> yard man ting, put it up, as them say. Chef Kalito, where can my people follow you at? Yo, just follow me on YouTube, man. Chef Kalito, just like, share, and subscribe. Touch the notification bell. Bing, 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 bing. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah, hey, show, show Chef, Chef Kalito some love. Yeah, man. Definitely. You know what? Nothing more than that, you know? Just put some butter. Put it in the bottom of the foil paper. Aluminum foil, as you guys said. Oh, that's what the fish for them catch. Yeah, man. Straight from the water to the pan, man. Do, do, do. Yeah, do, do. That's Trabas fish, that's the one he got. Trabas, you have fish and all? Trabas over there. What you think? What you think? You, you like that fish, bro? So that was the first catch of the day. I did it, thanks <laughs> to me there eating. You know? <laughs> how, come I, how come my people follow you, brother? Okay, my name is Trabas. Uh -huh. Y'all could look me up on Google and you see everything I do. I make comedy videos, music, movies, short film, web series. Anything, you know? There you go. Come here, can first. Shabba saying, get fish. Why, why for that? Yeah. Swim around. Yeah. Yeah. They, they're so Jamaican, guys. <laughs> Don't pay them any mind. They're oh, too Jamaican. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. There you go. <laughs> So you cut it off in chunks. Look at that white meat. Yeah, man, you always gotta have your fillet knife, all of this stuff. But I'm not gonna fillet today. We're gonna cook it just like all this right now, you know? What? Right. You know what? So you can cook it in chunks. Yep. So, so you, you don't, um, you know, would it be better to um, season it overnight in, in nah. some cases, or you just cook it cook it like that because it's you want that, that, uh, that flavor from the wild. Is no, you know, a lot of people always think uh, meat always got a season from overnight, but I think it all depends on all your season your meat, you know? Right, right, it right. It all depends on your season you use in your meat, and you just like, let it sit for a couple minutes. Like, normally I don't really, really do that. I just like, normally I do bucket chicken. Bucket chicken when my people call me up in New York. I right, just right. throw my chicken in the bucket, bam, 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 shake it up, throw it on the grill. Yeah, it to go, you know? it's kind of that's kind of that kind of sounds like uh, yep. black pot chicken that, <laughs> that they have in New Orleans. Yeah, you so know? look on this meat right here, the snakehead right here. Right, the meat is nice, white. The blood right here is like because it's fresh, you know. So that's why right. you see that blood in 
thing right there. Right. But guess what? You cook it with the head and everything, right? Everything. Yeah, we don't waste nothing. We don't waste bone. Jamaican just put the bone in there and just like... Everything. And you eat off of it. Yep. Wow. But if, if you guys don't... You guys don't really have to follow me to do the same thing I'm doing. You guys just like... Do, do whatever you want. But well, I'll tell you, I'm a chef myself. Yep. I, I went to cul I went. I've been in culinary for about 28 years, and my my uh, my degree is uh, international. Mm. So I, I do a lot of West Indian cooking myself. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm definitely going to take some of this, and I'm going to, you know, uh, you know, experiment with myself and yeah. see what's going on. But I'll That's mention. About cooking. I, I'll definitely mention you in my videos. Yeah, but definitely, I, I wouldn't mind if I didn't went to school for my cooking. But guess what? I didn't get the chance, so no. I just learned from home, you know. Of course, of course, yeah. and that's the best way, Carlito. Yeah, and, I believe. I believe. And, and the thing is, too, a lot of restaurants you go and you yeah. went to spend right. so much money on some food, right? It don't even taste good. So you just think about like, what about just try it for myself? And you try it, right? The first time it's not gonna be really good, but you gotta keep on trying, trying. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Well, you just gotta be careful with your seasons. Right. You don't want too much seasoning. You don't want too much less seasoning. You always want some great season. Right. Don't want to be salty. Don't want to be spicy if you don't like. But I love spice. What kind of season are you gonna be using, right, Carlito? So I'm definitely gonna say Carlito. Yo, we, Yo, we got Ali. We got Ali in Chef Carlito's food. Now, what is that, Ali? Tell this me. This is iguana. It's delicious. That's right. It's hotter than Yo, the Chipotle pepper. It's hotter than the Chipotle pepper. Delicio. Delicio. What are you eating? <laughs> Ali, what are you eating? <laughs> and of course, the ninja's iguana. getting down over there. Is what it is. What it is. So apparently the chicken feet has has a uh, has some kind of uh, you know health remedy. Well, what is that, Mama? What, what is that? Uh... It is chicken feet. The vitamins and the real nutrition that people need to live on. It has rebuilt the body fat. Look it up and check it out. I will. I will. I'll definitely right. check that out, guys. These are the stuff you can throw out and it's the best ever. Why do you think it's the most expensive meal? Right. Go, go to the restaurant. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, I, I've, I've tried some island food before, but I'll tell you what, I've never ever tried anything like this. So, guys, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to try something like this. And you know, and and go ahead and, and maybe make a dish, and I'm gonna present it, and we'll see. And we're gonna present it to you know to our host here. You know, she's an excellent cook, man, an excellent, excellent cook. And we're gonna you know we're gonna present this. We're gonna look for that. Look for that. We're definitely gonna have fun when we do this with Chef Carlito and the Iguana Ninja, the Iguana Man. And of course, we're bringing Ollie. Ain't that right, Ollie? Yeah. <laughs> you should be on the other side of the camera, but one of the you know, next couple of minutes, you probably will. So let's go on over to this this other side here, and we'll be right back. So we're about ready to try this this, this delicious chicken foot, man. I'm gonna go ahead. Watch this. Mm. Oh, oh mercy. Mm. I'll tell you what. It's good? Mm. Delicious, man. Oh, my goodness. Mama, this is some good stuff. Yo, don't call me late for dinner, Mama. Good stuff. Thank you. Good salt, good flavor, good spice. Yep. Everything. 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 Good. I'm gonna try it next. Mm. Guys, I'll tell you what. I've never had a chicken foot. I'll tell you what, Ali. I never had a chicken foot either until today. And I'll tell you what. It's some of the best thing. Some of the best I've ever had. Yeah, I'm on banana and mm. Well, now you know. Johan Sunset. Johan Sunset will try just about anything. 
You know, you can't be a you can't be a culinarian and not try everything. This is good island food. Real good island food, man. Mm. And I'm gonna try this chicken right here, Ali. Chicken's delicious. Yes. Is it hot? A little bit. Oh, mama, looks good. Yo, I'd love to put the recipe down below, but I tell you what, I didn't make it. But I'm gonna definitely try and copy of it in my own style. Yeah. This is really good. I just want to thank you, Juan Man, for inviting me over. I'm trying this delicious island food, man. And if it wasn't for, for Chef Carlito over here, too, hooking us up with all of that stuff, man, I'll tell you what, look him up on his channel. Yo, one of these days, me and him are going to, you know, I'm going to get his number, and me and him are going to do a campsite cookout. So look for it. Look for it soon. You know, outside, outside. Oh, oh, Clap you. Boar, that will bore. That will bore you. The amount of pressure. Once you break it, mm -hmm. yeah. you shoot it, yeah. Yeah. it's crazy. It will go through your thigh, possibly what? go through the other. Yeah, I need a load. Yeah, I mean, it could, it, could, it could definitely go like, you know, like three, four inches in you. Five inches. I'm in stuck in there, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Imagine. This is what we use this to kill the bonus, bro. Oh. One shot. One shot. A little close, man. Bar. That's good. That's about good right there. Natural. Yeah, that's my good so after a great night in Trinidad in America you've seen the food you've seen the people and you know who we are who are we? the iguana people that's right we're the iguana people yo look for, look for us Look, look for the for the adventures that were gonna take place. You got any thoughts on that? Oh yeah, man. I, it's, this is just the beginning, y'all. We've been doing a lot of stuff. We finally all got together and we've united to make this big movement. It's not a one-person gang, y'all. This is a whole team effort. Got the Iguana Man, got Chef Carlito, got Johan from Sunset Aquatics. Got the Iguana Ninja, and there's actually more people. If you wanna find out who else is in the Iguana people, all you gotta do is stay tuned because we'll be giving you guys little updates here and there. But tonight was absolutely phenomenal, one for the record books. And you know, none of this could have been ever possible if it wasn't for you viewers at home. That's right. Yeah, definitely. You guys, you know, whatever we got, we're gonna cook it up in every type of different way. No matter what, we're gonna stew, we're gonna barbecue, we're gonna fry, yo, no matter what curry. Chef Galita in the building, I got my boy Chef right here. There you go. Trouble. <laughs> we all here. Alright man. Yo. Yo boy, we're Guys, out. Remember, like, share, subscribe. Yo. Check us out. Everybody, we got Iguana Man, Chef Galito. Yo on Sunset. Iguana Ninja. Guys, this Guys is just right. the beginning. Alright, Iguana people. Brand new concept, brand new thing. Who knows what kind of crazy adventures all of us are actually gonna be on. And if you wanna be part of this movement, and stay tuned what is going on. All you gotta do is really subscribe right now and have the bell notification on so bing, you can bing, keep bing, seeing. Bing, 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 keep bing, seeing, right? You have touch the bell. that bell, man. Anything we do, you guys are the first gonna see that. Boop. There's a few of them out there. There's a few people out there that we want us to want to contact us. Um, I'm gonna just name off of a, of a few. Uh, um, what, what, what is that? What's that? That chick's name? Uh, Okay, so we have the Iguana Girls, we have Caitlin, and we have our friend, uh, Lindsay, there you go. And of course, you guys might know her as Iguana Solutions, but we have our friend Jessica that we're going to be reaching out. And also, also, we have a couple other people that, you know, you just going to have to stay tuned. But those are some big names right there, so they are going to all be part of the Iguana people, y'all. This is a whole new movement, whole new thing. This is just the beginning. That's it. Yeah. The beginning of it all, dude. <laughs> Ow! And if it, You'll see, you'll see how it goes.
Everybody say goodbye. Hold hey. it Bye. Bye. <laughs>